If you want to rank up fast in Apex Season 20, you need to be playing Loba. The addition of the perk system in Season 20 has made Loba one of the strongest legends in the game, and she is also the legend that has carried me from Rookie to Silver 3 in just two days. However, it takes a lot of experience to truly master her, so if you want to go from Rookie to Masters this season but don't know who to main, then this video is for you. And make sure you watch the very end so you don't miss the number one tip to truly master Loba and actually rank up fast this season. So without further ado, let's get right into this by talking about the fundamentals of playing Loba. So before we get into mastering Loba, we need to talk about the most foundational information about her as a character and her capabilities. Okay, so Loba is a support legend, which in season 20, where teamwork is heavily rewarded, she is a must-have on your team. But she also has a very hidden talent that will take you from rookie to masters in no time. But we're getting ahead of ourselves here. So let's get started by talking about her abilities, which are the following. Her passive is the ability to open extended support bins, which makes her very useful for getting healing items and also leveling up your evo shield. Her tactical ability, or her Q is the most vital part of her kit, and that is that she can throw her bracelet 71 meters ahead of herself, meaning that she can jump right into fights and retreat from them very easily. And finally, her ultimate. The black market collects all the items in its radius and allows you to take unlimited ammo and two items of any kind from it. This makes her essential for early and late game, because it means you can quickly stock up on ammo, heals, and attachments. And all of this leads to you being able to quickly get back into the fight effortlessly. Now, season 20 has taken a really good legend and made her insanely broken. And all this is thanks to the perks, so let's quickly talk about them. Loba's first level perks gives you the choice between being able to teleport further horizontally and vertically with her Q, making it even stronger. Do you see what I mean by she is absolutely broken yet? And the other option is to extend her ultimate range by 25%. And her level two perks give you the option between reducing her Q's cooldown or taking an extra item from the black market, raising the amount to three instead of two, which is insanely powerful. Now, I know this is a lot of boring information Information, but it is important to understand how Loba works before we get into the more advanced concepts. So congratulations on getting through this stage and let's now speak about how to apply this information in game. Although Loba may seem simple on the surface, she is one of the most complex legends in the game. But why is this? Well, it is simply because she has multiple playstyles. The first being my favourite one, and that is of course, the aggressive Loba. Loba's tactical ability makes it really easy to be aggressive and apply pressure, and of course, damage fire. I mean secure kills. But she also allows you to take angles on enemies very quickly, which is incredibly beneficial as you can easily get in a position that enemies won't be expecting you to be in, and unload a ton of damage before they can even react. Loba is an incredibly flexible legend, so don't be afraid to take more fights and try to entry for your team, because as long as you have good fundamentals and have practiced using her bracelet and you know her limitations, then you will immediately be as big a threat as an Octane. And well, we all know how dangerous he is. Configs is definitely not cheating though, is it Respawn? But how can you make Loba more aggressive? Well, that comes down to the perks. The two that you want to focus on are the tactical ability buffs, so increase range and reduce cooldown. In my opinion, you want to prioritize these more than the alt related ones, simply because it allows you more options of how to move around in the fight or even move to fights. And also her ult literally gives you a portable loot chest, so it's pretty powerful on its own. And if you're wondering what loadout to rock with this playstyle, I would highly recommend an assault rifle like the Flatline, Nemesis or Hemlock and a shotgun or SMG to maximize damage from close and long range. And the second major playstyle is the passive one. This is the playstyle that's more commonly associated with support characters which is just simply applying pressure on enemies in a defensive way instead of an offensive way, using your util to assist your team in fights and also resing them when necessary. And to be completely honest with you, playing Loba this way is pretty boring because you have the ability to make riskier plays and fights and get a way to heal if you need to, so not using it isn't great and also playing defensively is just boring anyways. But if you do want to take on this playstyle, then the best loadout would definitely be an AR or SMG paired with a sniper or marksman weapon. I personally highly recommend the 3030. As for the perks, just buff your ultimate as you will definitely be using it more. But the number one tip I would give for either playstyle is to just hop in the range and experiment with your bracelet. Or you could just hop in R5, experiment on all the different maps around the POIs you would typically land. This is because learning to use the bracelet and mastering it is the biggest difference between an average Loba player and a player who has actually mastered Loba. And a little bonus tip for you before we move on is that you can place the black market in front of doors to block people from opening it from the other side. Believe me, you will thank me for this later. But now, let's talk about the number one tip that will make you a master of Loba and help you rank up extremely quickly. And that is... 
Now, you may be wondering. How does creativity help me rank up? That makes no goddamn sense. And yes, I know it may be confusing, but it actually is really simple. The key to mastering Loba is getting creative with how you use her utility. For instance, the Black Market can be used as a temporary shield to block you from a lot of damage, which could be the biggest difference between a win that could rank you up and a loss more heartbreaking than Dojo in the ALGS finals. I am still not over that. And also, the perk system allows you to really bend the possibilities of the legend and just expand experiment. Being creative in Apex is rewarding and fun, so just play around until you find what's right for you. But as a Loba main, you also have to be really flexible, and it is really easy to be with her because her bracelet allows her to fill many roles in a team, like being an entry fragger. And it also boosts her defensive capabilities too. The ability to teleport away can really help you hold a position and fight for longer before having to fall back and heal. This flexibility is also what makes her the perfect fit for you solo queues out there. And I know that because I am one of them. Loba, as I said earlier, is a very complex character and it does take a lot of practice to truly master her. But with this video, you now have all the building blocks of how to play her better than the average Apex player. player. And if you found this video useful, then please do consider subscribing as I plan to make more in-depth videos about how to improve Apex in the future. And it also just really helps me out. And hey, you can always change your minds later. And if you're a newer player to Apex or a returning player and want to find out more about Season 20, then make sure to check out this video about how Season 20 will save Apex Legends. Thank you for watching.